All right, so welcome. And today I'm going to show you how to varnish a painting and how to put a wire on a painting so that you can hang it without a frame. So um, the first thing you want to do, though, before you varnish a painting is you want to take a good photograph of it in the daylight. You don't want direct sunlight hitting your uh, painting or your artwork, but you want um, like a diffused light. And that's why actually if you can go outside and lay it on the ground, um, even on a cloudy day, it gives you really perfect lighting. And you just want to stand right over your canvas and get it get it framed nicely and um, you know focus on it and um, you know take a few take a few pictures check them uh, just make sure you've got a decent photo because you never know when you might be able to use that for um, you know selling your artwork on a card or something like that so once you've gotten a good photograph of it and you know you're ready to varnish it um, I am going to be using uh, Liquitex gloss varnish on this flamingo painting um, and I'm going to use a brush that I have dedicated to varnish painting. This is a SG700 Royal Soft Grip. It's a one inch brush. Um, so I've got that ready. I've got a ruler and a sharpie marker and then I just um, went on Amazon and purchased these D-rings. It's a hundred pack of D-rings and um, I'll probably, I'll, I'll look up my my link for that and give you more information in the description. But a um, hundred pack of D-rings and these are the screws in here. Here's the D-rings. The screws came with it. And then I also, on Amazon, I found these um, bumpers. These are nice to put on the back of a painting so that it lifts off of the wall and it also prevents it from sliding around when it's hung and I've just got oh and one more thing I ordered the um, soft strand it's just a coated wire it's easier to work with a coated wire there's a nice coating on that so it won't kill your fingers as you're twisting this on there and you know you don't need a real um, heavy-duty wire this is number four uh, you want something that will handle, handle like 30 pounds, and it tells you that in the description. And of course, anytime you're buying something on Amazon, just read the reviews. And so then I've got my Ryobi drill, and I've got a small bit to pre-drill my hole uh, for the screw, because uh, it's very hard to screw into wood without pre-drilling. Um, so I'm going to sign my painting. I didn't sign this. Um, I think I want to sign it in a colored Sharpie. I like signing in Sharpie. Um, I don't know what color I want to use. Maybe, um, maybe this green. So this is just a set of um, Sharpie fine points. I think I got these at Walmart. It's, um, they're really great to have. Um, just maybe right here. I usually sign Aggie, but I wasn't thinking. That's okay. So I'm going to let that dry a few minutes. Um, and you can certainly sign in paint if you would prefer. Um, and then on the back, you can write a message. I'll probably do this in black. On the back, I like to write uh, my name again. Copyright and the year that I painted it. And I usually put a heart. You know, if there's some kind of symbol that you like that represents you, put that on, on, your, on your stuff. It'll be like your little brand. Um, if someone bought this and you want to put a personal message on the back, that's a really nice touch I think. So now I'm going to put the wire on the back first before I varnish it. So I've got my <clears throat> I've got my bit in my drill and 
you kind of want to make sure with the depth of this, you can see that if I, if I let myself go too far, it's going to drill all the way through the canvas. So I'm going to stop myself short. I'm going to try and drill only halfway through. I can't push this drill in any deeper. Um, so I'm going to figure out where I want to put the screws. And I usually put it about, um, I don't know, a third of the way down from the top. So this is 20 inches. I'm going to put it at, how about five? So I just put a little tick mark where the five inch mark is. And then I'm going to get my D-ring out, two D-rings. So yeah, it's a great idea to buy these, you guys. You'll use them. I used to just buy them piecemeal. Oops at um, Hobby Lobby and it's really expensive. Just buy yourself a whole a whole bag of them. And you know, it's great to have these because I'm sure you've got paintings and things laying around the house that you've been meaning to hang. And this'll, this'll inspire you to do it. So you wanna position the D-ring so that it um, is like this. Let me get this in there for you so that the D um, part is able to bend down. And that looks pretty good. I'm gonna hold that in place with my, with my nail here and try and drill right in the middle of that. and then I'm gonna get my screw. Oh, you know what, before I do that, I'm gonna do the other side now. You see this, I hope? I hope my head wasn't in the way. I forgot about that, I better make sure my head's not in the way. <laughs> I bet my head was in the way on that shot, sorry. All right. All right, now I can change my bit. And I'm gonna put the, um, you know, this bit in so that I can screw them in quickly. You know, this is a fun thing to do. Um, just kind of do, a, get a whole bunch ready and do them all at once. All right, so I'm gonna put this in here tuck it under the fabric. You know, there's two sides to this. I don't know if you can see that. There's a, a flat side and a not flat side. So I'm gonna put the flat side down. Get the screw in my little hole there. Make sure it's straight as you're drilling. It wants to turn. Screwing, I said drilling. All right, good. Here's the other one. Flat side down, get my screw. This one, my hole is a little bit at an angle, I think. Hmm. Maybe I need to lighten up my torque, huh? All right, 
made finally. <laughs> it doesn't always, uh, I'm not real great with power tools, can you tell? <laughs> All right, so that's on there, and then I'm gonna put my bumper guards on before I forget. So I'm just gonna put one on each corner. These are great to have around the house anyway for all kinds of things. Who knows, check your drawers. You may already have some of these somewhere. So just put one on each corner on the high spot. And now we're ready to add our wire. So I pre-cut a wire. You just wanna make sure you've got enough um, you know to go across the width here and then about you know four inches or so three or four inches extra on each side so first I'm going to string it through the d-ring put a bend there on each side and make sure I have the wire you know centered pull it a little bit taut put a bend there and then I'm gonna um, loop it around the D-ring a couple of times. That was once, here's another time. And then you just twist it around the wire. So, oops, popped out of the other side, but that's okay. So I had way too much excess here, but you want to wipe, wrap it around, I don't know, eight, 10 times maybe. I've seen some people do these quite beautifully. Mine are not beautiful. <laughs> but that's okay. And then you could just cut this off. I had it way too long, so I'm gonna cut the rest off. All right, now let's do the other side. So there's how that side's looking. Here's the other side, pull it nice and taut, wrap it around twice. and then twist it around your wire. And that's it. Okay, so there we go. We got our wire on, yay! And this will hang nicely. All right, we got our bumpers, we got our wire on, and now we're ready to varnish. So let me just get this out of the way here. All right, so for the varnish, you know, um, some people prefer gloss, some people like um, a semi-gloss or satin. Um, and some people even like matte, but matte, can kind of dull a painting. I don't recommend matte unless you're gonna mix it with gloss. And some people do that, they mix it like 50-50 to do their own satin version. Um, but I'm gonna use gloss today and you don't wanna shake, I'm using Liquitex gloss varnish. You wanna make sure you actually buy varnish, not a glaze. Uh, make sure it says varnish because um, that's gonna really seal the painting and give you that UV protection that you want. And that's the other thing. A lot of people don't realize that they should varnish their paintings. Maybe they, they just haven't been told. So anyway, I'm gonna put a little bit out on a styrofoam plate. I put less than I know I need because I don't wanna waste it. Uh, I get that at Hobby Lobby and I use my coupon. So um, I'm gonna start with the edges. <clears throat> get a little bit of varnish on my brush. And you basically want to um, 
not slap on too much at once because you don't want it drippy. It will self-level, so I would say put on less than you think. Um, and I'm going to do all of my edges first. And you do want a little bit of it to go over onto the front of the canvas as you're doing this. Now, I have a piece of paper on my table, which is actually not a good thing. You could put aluminum foil down on your table so that your painting won't stick. That's what I should have done. But I think that would have been too shiny with the camera and all, so that's okay. I will deal with that if it sticks. I think what I'll do is I'll just move it to someplace else to dry. All right, so now I do have a little bit around my edges and that's actually good, I want that. Reload my brush and I'm gonna do the front now. And the main thing you wanna do is just put a nice even coat, but you don't wanna brush, you don't wanna keep brushing and brushing too many times. So I'm not applying too much pressure. I'm kind of looking from the side to see that I'm getting um, each, you know, it's kind of like mowing the lawn. Line up your next row against the previous one and um, just try to make it even. That's all. I'm gonna go all the way across doing this and then I'm gonna do a very light um, follow through, you know, the same thing at the end. I'll show you that in a second. But I'm really only brushing over this, you know, two or three times. I've got some streaks right now, that's okay. I'm gonna even that out on my, my last step. The reason why you don't want to overdo it with brushing it on is that it can actually start to get milky. It starts to get too much air in there and that's not good. You don't want bubbles or you just don't want to brush over it too, too, too many times. That's all. And I would do this inside. You don't want anything to blow over onto it. Keep the pets out of the way, you know, common sense. So now I'm just using a very light touch and a light stroke. And again, I'm looking from the side to see if I have any puddles or any areas I've missed. And this is just kind of helping to level the varnish just a bit more. Um, I actually find this kind of therapeutic. <laughs> I'm kind of looking at my edges of the canvas too, if I have any drips. Sometimes they catch on the edge. So you just want to hit that real quick. And that's it. I do see just a bit of streaking, but that's okay. I'm gonna do a second coat and it'll even it out and it'll look fine. So let's see if, if you can see the sheen on this at all. Hmm, hard to get the lighting to hit it so that you can see the varnish. There, you can see there's a streak right there. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm gonna do a second coat and that'll go away. So I would let this dry um, half a day maybe. Oh, I do see some edges here that I could fix. You know, let it dry a few hours. Of course, everything depends on the conditions of your room. You know, sometimes of year it's very humid and it might take longer to dry. Um, but I'm gonna set this over. I have a nice concrete floor on my in my studio here where I know it won't be disturbed. Or actually, I guess I, well, no, I'm gonna lay it flat. I was gonna say I could hang it, but no, you wanna lay it flat while it's drying. But that's basically it for um, varnishing and putting a wire on a canvas painting because you don't always have to frame uh, a canvas painting. I would say always make sure you paint your edges on a gallery wrapped frame like this, a gallery wrapped canvas, and then you don't have to frame it. And um, so that's it guys. Hope you like this.